Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. Up till now in previous videos, we have been solving questions using unitary method. Now in this video, we shall use formula method to solve questions when interest is compounded annually, half yearly and quarterly. Now further, first of all, let us revise the formulas which we are going to use for solving these questions. So when the interest is compounded annually, we will use the formula of amount as a is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N where A is equal to amount, P is equal to principal, R is equal to rate of interest per annum, N is equal to number of years. Now compound interest is the difference between amount and the principal. So we can say CI is equal to A minus P where CI is the compound interest. Now further we shall put the value of amount in the form of formula you can say so ci is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to power n minus p further p can be taken common so we can have the formula of compound interest as ci is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n minus 1 so this is the amount and compound interest formula which we will use when the interest is compounded annually now when the interest is compounded half yearly, rate percent per annum becomes R by 2% per half year and time that is N becomes 2N half years. That means rate of interest we will divide by 2 and time that is N we will multiply by 2. So accordingly you can see our formulas of amount and compound interest has been changed. A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N. This is the formula of amount and compound interest that is CI will be equal to principal in bracket 1 plus R upon 200 whole raised to power 2N minus 1. So these are the formulas of amount and compound interest which we are going to use when the interest is compounded half yearly. Now further when the interest is compounded quarterly, the rate percent per annum becomes R by 4% per quarter and time N will become 4 N quarters. That means rate of interest will be divided by 4 and N will be multiplied by 4. So accordingly you can see the changes in the formula of amount and CI. Amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4 N and compound interest is equal to P that is principal in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4 N minus 1. So amount and CI will also change accordingly when the interest is compounded quarterly or half yearly. Now let us take up question of each type. First of all let us start with when interest is compounded annually. So question 1 is find the compound interest on rupees 2000 for 2 years at 15% per annum compounded annually. Now over here the principal is rupees 2000, time is 2 years, rate of interest is 15% per annum and formula of amount is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N. Now we shall put the values of principal, rate of interest and N that is number of years. So we shall write 2000 in bracket 1 plus 15 upon 100 raised to power 2 which is equal to 2000 in bracket 100 plus 15 upon 100 raised to power 2. We have taken LCM over here and further we shall write 2000 in bracket 115 upon 100 raised to power 2. Further 115 and 100 both will get divided by 5 and we shall get 2000 in bracket 23 upon 20 whole raised to power 2 which is equal to 2645. So amount is uh, equal to rupees 2645. Now further if we have to find compound interest we shall use the formula of amount minus principal. So that is 2645 minus 2000 which is equal to rupees 645. This is the compound interest for two years rupees 645. Now let us take up second question in which the interest is compounded half yearly. So question is find the compound interest on rupees 65,536 for one and a half years at 12.5% per annum compounded half yearly. Now principal over here is rupees 65,536. Time is 1.5 years that is 3 by 2 years. Rate of interest is 12.5% per annum which is equal to 25 by 2% per annum. Now amount formula is A is equal to P 
into 1 plus r upon 200 raised to power 2l. Now we shall put the values of principal r rate of interest and n number of years. So we shall write 65,536 in bracket 1 plus now in place of r we shall write 25 by 2 into 200 which is already there in the denominator and raised to power 2 into n that is n is 3 by 2. Now further 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we shall write 65,536 in bracket 1 plus 25 by 400 whole raised to power 3. Now if you uh, observe over here we are compounding half yearly and one and a half years is actually three half years. So that's why it is raised to power 3 over here. It should come 3. So this is the way you can check your answer. Now further we shall solve it by taking LCM. So we shall write 65,536 multiplied by 400 plus 25 upon 400 raised to power 3. Further we shall simplify and write 65,536 in bracket 425 by 400 raised to power 3. Further after simplifying we will get 65,536 in bracket 17 by 16 raised to power 3 which is equal to rupees 78,608. So this is our amount which we have got rupees 78,608. But we have to find further compound interest and compound interest we know it is the difference between amount and principal. So we shall write 78,608 minus 65,536 and we shall get compound interest as rupees 13,072. So this is how we solve this question when the interest is compounded half yearly. Now let us take up question number 3 where the interest is compounded quarterly. So the question is find the compound interest on rupees 15,625 for 9 months at 16% per annum compounded quarterly. Quarterly means every 3 months. So in a year after every 3 months if we get an interest we will get interest 4 times. That means 4 quarters are there in a year. Now over here in this question principal is given rupees 15,625. Time is 9 months which we will convert into years by dividing by 12. So we shall write 9 upon 12 which is equal to 3 by 4 years. Rate is 16% per annum. So we have got the principal, we have got the time in years and rate also is 16% per annum. Now formula of amount is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 raised to power 4N. Now we shall put the values of principal, rate of interest and N in this formula and we shall write 15,625 in bracket 1 plus 16 upon 400 raised to power 4 into 3 by 4 because 4 times of n, n is 3 by 4. So 4 into 3 by 4. Now 4 and 4 will get cancelled and we shall get 15,625 into 1 plus 16 by 400 raised to power 3. Now if you remember I said there are total 4 quarters in a year. So in 9 months we will have 3 quarters. So n should come over here 3 quarters. So that's why, that is how you can check over here. Now further we shall take LCM and we shall write 15,625 in bracket 400 plus 16 upon 400 raised to power 3 which is equal to 15,625 in bracket 416 upon 400 raised to power 3 and further when we will simplify we shall get 15,625 in bracket 26 by 25 whole raised to power 3 which is equal to rupees 17,576. So this is the amount which we have got rupees 17,576. Now compound interest is the difference between amount and the principal. So 17,576 minus 15,625 is equal to rupees 1,951. So this is our compound interest rupees 1,951. So hope you have understood these three questions which were related to uh, when the interest was compounded annually, half yearly and quarterly. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the video. 
please do like and subscribe my channel and give your comments in the comment section thank you everyone